morning, good morning. So I had a really, really good question this morning. Um, and so I wanted to share what I think is something to think about. Um, not going to be long, but this is really important. So a gentleman asked me about my viewpoint about long distance relationships. Do I think they can work or do I think um, they, they are not as good? So here's the thing. I think that if you have a love affair with someone that's out of your area, they're not close, you know, um, and you are apart a lot and often, it is a challenge. And I'm going to tell you why it's a challenge. It's a challenge for long distance relationships to work because understanding is the most important element of a relationship. When we're not in somebody's presence or we're not together, a lot of times we find out that the relationships um, are kind of limited, if you, if you know what I mean. So they're limited because there's really no um, clear understanding about each other. When we're physically in each other's presence, right, um, we can find ourselves to be um i'll put it this way you know how a lot of times when we have our relationships with our friends a lot of times we can talk to each other communicate to each other let each other know something just by a look a wink an expression on our face because our friends just know right don't we have codes we talk to our kids sometimes you better not you better not do such and such and such you better do this such and such when we have physical contact, when we're often in someone's presence, we begin to learn them. We begin to learn their patterns. We begin to learn their attitudes. We begin to learn about um, things that bother them, things that don't. And this is very important when you're talking about having a love relationship. If you don't have enough physical contact with that person, there's going to be a lot of misunderstandings because you don't understand each other. You don't get it. You don't know this person. Whether you are FaceTiming them or chatting on the phone with them or conversating. Listen, I was in a love relationship. My very first love relationship was long distance. We were three hours away, three hours apart. And after years of being in that relationship, I learned that I claimed that we were together for seven years. Okay. But when I count the physical time we actually share together, it probably wasn't seven, it probably was only a year, maybe, <laughs> because there were a lot of days that I was not in his presence. There was a lot of days he was not in my presence. So there was a lot, a huge lack of understanding each other because we didn't, we couldn't read each other. Even if there was a joking going on, I couldn't read him or he couldn't read me when I was upset or angry. There was a lot of misunderstanding because we weren't in it, we weren't in tune with each other's mannerisms. We didn't really know how that person flows, how they sleep, how they think, what they do. So when we don't have enough contact with each other physically, it hinders the relationship. Can it be done? Yes. Love you too, cousin. Can it be done? Yes, you can have a long distance relationship. However, you better consistently get physical with that person you're with what I mean by that is you better be spending some physical time together don't claim that you're in a relationship with them for years on end and you've only spent less than 200 days together physically because you're not in that relationship enough physically to understand and and, and appreciate each other if that makes sense we have to learn our partner's habits we have to learn our partner's um, concerns, how they feel, what they think. And if you're not in each other's physical presence, you, you, you have a lack there. So I don't personally enter, or I should say, I don't any longer get involved with long distance relationships just because for me, not talking for anyone else, but for me, I understand that there has to be physical, a, a very huge amount of fluidity in the physical contact. And I think that if I don't have that physical contact, the relationship is hindered and can be so very limited unless we decide we're going to move into each other's uh, closer to proximity with each other.
it's just for me. I'm not saying that it can't work. I'm saying if it, if you are in a long distance relationship, the best thing is to be constantly in contact. And if you cannot physically be together, there needs to be a uh, some type of, I would say a planning of when you will be. Because, you know, we don't spend enough time physically together. We are going to have a lot of issues with understanding each other. We have to have moments of truly understanding our mate. And the only way to understand them is to be around them, to understand them, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense to somebody. I really do, because I know long distance relationships can be a challenge, but they can be done if you mastermind spending time, physical time together. You know, we can be in a relationship all day long and everything's great, but if we don't understand that person or we don't understand how they think or what they feel, we find ourselves just constantly a, a, a combative. We're constantly at odds. And that means that there's not enough time together to understand each other. And understanding our lover is very important for that love life to become life uh, full of life. If we're not in each other's presence, how do I know when you're angry? You might have a more stoic way of being when you are when you think things are funny. And I might assume that you have an attitude. All of these different things can cause misunderstandings. And unfortunately, because I don't understand you, it's hard for me to love you, if that makes sense. I'm just saying. I hope I helped somebody today. I'm on my break, so I can't be any longer. But listen, share this video. I know a lot of people want to ask questions to me. They have questions. Don't hesitate to inbox me and say, hey, can you talk about this? Hey, I'm concerned about this. Hey, can you be my coach? Don't hesitate to reach out. That's what I'm here for. If you have questions, please bring them up. I will go live and share my answer with everybody so everybody because you're not the only one that has the question if you have a question or concern about love and your love life or your parenting or how your life is moving and in motion reach out to me also go to my youtube channel my youtube channel is carla nicole wisdom channel go over there and subscribe and also just know you're going to get a ton of information over there but like I said, please come to me if you have a question or you want to know something or you have something heart on your heart and mind. Don't hesitate to inbox me. I might not get to you right away because I got a lot of them. But if I, if you do ask me something, I will try my hardest to get that answer to you. If not to you individually, I will definitely do it via video. Okay. So I hope I got, I hope you guys share this video because people really do want to be in relationships. They do want to have an intimacy. They, they do have concerns though about somebody so far away. Can it work? Yes, it can. But again, you have to make a promise to yourself that you have that physical contact. If not, it's going to fall into the wayside and unfortunately it most likely won't work. Okay. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye guys. Talk to you soon.